at shitty movies. One of the first jobs I had actually was driving around Marty Cove. He was best known as the evil sensei from Karate Kid, the guy who says sweep the leg. Yeah. I drove him around and he uh This is Hollywood, man. This is Hollywood. So I'm yeah. driving around in my shitty car. Yeah. And he um he got me lost on purpose because he didn't know the um he hadn't read the script yet. Yeah. So he was like, nah, nah, yeah, you don't take this. Take Havenhurst. We get on the 454. And I have like a Thomas guide on my lap. And I go, I think I'm supposed to go uh, here, you know. <laughs> and then he got me lost. And the first AD, the, my boss screamed at me. And it was this terrible day. And then um, on the way back, he goes, uh, we're driving. It's like at night. We're driving down the freeway. And yeah. he goes, hey, Bill, are you mad at me? <laughs> I go, no, I'm not. <laughs> and he goes, you want a, you want a milkshake? <laughs> I go, what are you talking about? Milkshake? You want a cookie? You want a milkshake? And I'm like, it's the guy from Karate Kid. And yeah. I go, no. It was like my first Hollywood experience. Yeah. So he goes, there's a McDonald's right up here. Pull over. We'll get you a cookie. We'll get you a milkshake. Everything will be all right. Okay? And I go, oh, okay. So I pull over to McDonald's. He goes, what kind of milkshake you want? I go, chocolate. Yeah. And he goes, all right, chocolate milkshake. I'll get you a chocolate chip cookie. I'll be right back. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. He leaves. He comes back out eating the chocolate chip cookie and drinking the milkshake. Right. And then he just sits in the back and he goes, Come on, let's go. Go. No, no. It was the biggest fuck you. I, I was like, whoa. It really? was a weird mind fuck of like, I'm going to get you this thing. And then he ate it in, in front, front of me. me. And I just drove home in silence. Really? <laughs> and I was like, that was my first like, welcome to Hollywood kid like moment. My God. And I came home to all my roommates and I was like, you won't fucking believe what just happened to me. And they all were like dying laughing. Did and... you have to go back the next day? And yeah, I drove him to work every day. And I didn't talk to him after that. I just kind of, like, stayed, like, straight ahead. Whatever happened to that guy? I don't know. But I heard, I will say that I heard he was going through some sort of emotion. He was going through, like, a divorce or something was happening with him. Things so he might, be, he might be a really nice guy, but I just, for some That's reason, a... I rubbed him the wrong way, and I don't know what was going on. That, that what, like, what was he teaching you? <laughs> like, just that, like, that some of us are... Don't cons? listen to me. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah don't. But... Why did you listen to me? You yeah, but, but like, you, you know, it's like, it was just sort of one of those things where it's like, this is how show business works. Yeah, I don't know. Or it was just, I want to fuck with this kid. I'm having a bad day. And you were like 20? I was 20. Yeah. I, and I just, I just, 